Hi guys, got an interesting app for you today. Um, there was quite a buzz on Google Plus a few days back when it got released. Link Bubble by Chris Lacey. Um, there it is. <coughs> Basically, let's, let's just go in and, uh, and show you exactly what it does. And to do that, I'm going to open up Google Plus. Now, so I, I come to an article such as this that Drew has posted, and if I tap on it, you'll notice a little bubble appears on the side. So normally, your browser would open, you'd sit there waiting, um, waiting, waiting, then it loads. Instead, it's loaded it in the background, in the little bubble. I've carried on using Google+, and when I'm ready, I tap on the bubble, and here's the article. So effectively, it is its own browser, um, but it's one that lets you load in the background, carrying using the app that you're using, until you're ready. Then when, when I'm finished, I'm going to hold down on that bubble. Can you see if I managed to get my arm out of the way? I've either got a share over on the right hand side or I can send it straight to uh, Twitter or Falcon Pro or I can get rid of. Uh, that's basically the app. So it's very simple. It's not that it's crazy complicated but it is just it's a good idea. And, you know, sort of why not in many ways. Uh, I'm trying to find a few more links now. Come on, people. So, again, I'm going to tap that one. I'm going to keep running, and then I'm going to tap that one. Now, I don't know if you can see it. Let me move, move it in a little closer. So now it's got a... Oopsie daisy. Now it's got a two, and I can keep browsing, and I can tap another one. It's got a three. Now, that's the pro version. If you're on just the free version, it's one at a time, and it will only work in one app. So if Google Plus was the first thing that I went into, um, it would work in Google Plus. But if I then went into Twitter or, or Falcon Pro or whatever, it wouldn't. So now I've got three. I tap it. The last one that I tapped is the first thing I'm looking at. And again, I can just... Oh, actually, that's going to close all. That's the only... That's only a... It's not so good in some ways, I suppose. Let me open two up again. Three up. So again, I carry on, you can see it's loading. I carry on reading reading through Google+. Then when I'm ready. So instead what I should do, I've read my article, right, what was the next one? On I go, read my next one. And what was the third one? So that was sat there waiting, and when I'm done, now is there a way? Yes, yeah, so that does automatically, let's just close all. If you see that around the ring. So maybe it would be quite nice that you could individually do, and I assume if I wanted to share, I should have gone up perhaps, that was where the links were. Um, if I wanted to share them individually, that would work. Would work. So if I wanted to share just this one, if I held that down, that is gonna share just, just the one link. But closing wise, oh, interestingly, the other one is now left, so it did remain kept the one. Um, let's come out and just so again, just to just to show you, if I can find, yeah, that's got a link in it. Look, giveaway of the day. So if I tap on on that, now interestingly, it it does give you the option of saying, well, actually, this one could be used by Beyond Pod, but I'm going to say no. Stick it with. So I can, I can carry on using my application. Again, I've opened a second. Oh, I've opened a second one that has loaded in Link Bubble anyway, even though it asked me about it. So now I've got two. There they both are. I get some options there, so I can open it in Chrome if I want. I can reload the page. I can copy the link if I'm going to paste it somewhere. Now here's the. Uh, Here's link, let's just get rid of get rid of those now. Here's link bubble settings. So auto expand. You can have it so that as soon as you load, poof, then it appears. I actually found that quite annoying because I'd be browsing through and I'd oh what's this? And then poof, oh, uh, you know, I, I personally I prefer to to deal with it when I'm ready. I can see when it's loaded because it's finished spinning and that's when I go. Um, you can change obviously which application is kind of the, the default share. You get to select share on a wider scale anyway. Um, well, actually, you can change that one a lot. So you can have that to be a specific application 
and you can put on the left side as the share picker. Uh, default apps, um, incognito mode, clear private data because you can somewhere see where, where is it? I feel you see it now. Uh, somewhere you can see kind of your history. There it is. So Link Bubble saves you 8.1 seconds per link. So I presume that's basically saying the average is 8.1 seconds for the page to load. So instead of you just staring at a screen for 8 seconds waiting for your page to load, you carry on using whatever application you're already in. Um, and there you go. There's my sort of history that I've, that I've used. You can see the ones that I've just used. Look, but you can clear that in the settings. So there you go, Link Bubble. Um, it's a fairly simple app. But it's a great idea, you know, it almost makes you think, well, why did nobody think of this before? Why did nobody do this before? As far as I'm aware, I don't think anybody did. In fact, I think Chris Lacey has applied for the patent, which why not? Uh, good on you. Uh, there's also quite a bit of chat about, because the app cost me £2.99 to go pro. And I believe I saw, well, I mainly saw people moaning at the people that had moaned about the price. I didn't actually see anyone moan about the price, but maybe it's in the, I should have looked in the Play Store uh, reviews perhaps you know the basic and look a cup of coffee these days costs you three pounds or three dollars or whatever it is i think it's, i'm sure it's three pound 2.99 for for me um are you really moaning that an app that you can use every day and, and and does give you a benefit are you really moaning that you're going to pay three pounds for that so you know i totally understand i totally agree i bought it myself uh, partly so i can show you guys but also you know yeah it's a good idea it's a good app so there you go link bubble my name's andy i'll catch you all again soon